I'll be right back. My angel, sweetheart, don't mind grandma, okay? Maybe she's just angry. Okay, love. You like ice cream? Yes, I'll buy for you. Okay, okay. Oh, my angel, help me. Mm. What was the meaning of that cold show that I just gave to your granddaughter out there? I have the right to be angry. No one is saying you don't have the right to be angry. But not at the manner at which you did to that little innocent girl. Who knows nothing about the source of your anger? Innocent, eh? You mean she's innocent? What innocent? Spare me that word and sit down. Mama, I, I really don't understand you. You just came in after a long time of no see, wearing a long face, instead of you to be happy meeting us alive. Are you done talking? Mama, it is not fair. I said, are you done talking? Yes, I am. But your tongue is still wagging. And if you're not careful, I will nail it to the roof of your mouth. Okay. I'm sorry. Please sit down. You're my son. And when things are not going the way they should, I'm not happy. I have the right to be angry. Things need to be put right. Mama, please. Go straight to the point. I was about taking Sophia to Leisure Park before your arrival. Bere Iweri So. How old is your daughter? What has that got to do with your anger? Just answer my question. Six years old. Is it not long enough for you to have another child? Oh, I see where your anger lies. But we are not God. Mama, so let me tell you something. The good God that gave us Sophia will give us another at the appointed time. There is no appointed time anywhere. When your problem is directly deep, you your nose. I, I don't understand my problem right beneath my nose. How? What problem? Your daughter. Yes. Your daughter Sophie is the reason her mother had not had another child. After her birth, she locked Bumi's womb and threw the key inside the ocean. Mama, you're not making sense anymore. I think age is beginning to take a huge toll on you. <laughs> Your daughter Sophia is a witch. What? Mama, my own blood, Sophia, a witch. And where do you think you're going? Mama, do you expect me to sit here with you? And what you use such an ungodly word on my daughter? See, Mama, I am glad you're around. Please, enjoy your stay. Let's just pretend we never had this conversation. Mm. Children of these days, they will not understand. But time will tell. My sauce is very correct. Can be wrong. See. Mommy, 
Yes, my angel. Grandma is beginning to scare me. Come on, my little angel. You don't have to be scared of grandma. Maybe someone got her angry on her way here. And why does she have to treat me in such a way? Like I was the one who got her angry. I'm so sorry, my dear. It is called transfer of aggression. Transfer of aggression? Yes, my dear. Transfer of aggression. Mom, what is the meaning of transfer of aggression? Hmm. Transfer of aggression is... Uh, um, good Let's go. Honey, what's the problem? Is Mama all right? I see. Let's go. For me, is Dad also trying to do transfer for aggression? Daddy? What is the meaning of transfer for aggression? My angel, don't worry. When we come back, I will explain to you what transfer of aggression means, okay? Okay, mom. That's my darling. I am honey. Please let me say a warm welcome to you. You deaf. I say, let's go. What is wrong with Mama? Has she hated my daughter so much that it has gotten to the extent of accusing her of witchcraft? No, I won't allow this to repeat itself. Where did Mama get this notion of us from? Oh, does it have to do with old age? How do I handle this issue? Good afternoon, Grandma. Please, can you help me with my homework? Now listen to me. You see, you can deceive everyone in this house, but not me. Any way you want it, I will give it to you. Because I know what you know. I know who you are. That's okay, my angel. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Grandma doesn't want to play with me anymore. Why is she angry with me? My angel, Grandma is not angry at you. Maybe she doesn't want to talk. Grandma loves you, okay? Okay. But who will help me with my homework? Don't worry, I will. Once I'm done with cooking, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you too, my angel. Come on. <laughs> 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 
say. See, you know you look like mommy, right? But I like your hair. It's so long. But you know mommy's hair is very long. But it's longer than your own. Which one is longer? Mommy's hair and your own. My hair is your life. <laughs> Beautiful as your mother. So, have you eaten anything today? What did you eat? Wow! Rice and plenty. What about mine? It's this side. Wow! That's my baby. So Okay. Sweet that. Sweet that. What is the problem? You look so cold. Not even the usual welcome from you to your hobby. Come on, what's the problem? I want to talk to you now. Sophia, yes, go to the living room. No. I hope. Okay, Soph. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye. What's the problem? Ever since Mama came, Sophia has not been herself. She finds it very difficult to move freely in her own father's house. I have tried severally not to take it to heart, Mama's attitude towards Sophia. But she's getting on my last nerve. Sweetheart, just calm down and explain to me what really happened. Sophia came back from school and asked Mama to help her with her homework. And what Mama said to a little girl like Sophia was stunning. She said Sophia can fool anyone but not her and she is ready for her. Imagine what Mama is saying to a little girl like Sophia. You mean? Mama said all that to my daughter, Sophia. Oh, please, honey. Don't act like you don't know about this. Sweetheart, how could you accuse me of what I know nothing about? The very first day Mama came to this house, the act you displayed was very unusual. You went in with Mama, and you were with her for a few minutes. You came out very angry. And I asked you, what happened? You refused to tell me anything. You never said a word. What has my daughter done to you and Mama? Tell me. What has she done? Sophia? What happened? What happened? Soph? What happened? Grandma asked me not to come out whenever she's in the living room. And she said she hates seeing me. <laughs> Grandma said she hates seeing you. Yes. She told you all that. Yes. Sweet that. I'm coming. No, no. Mama, what was that you said to my daughter? She has charmed you to come and beat up your own mother. Oh yeah, go ahead. Beat me and be happy. You see that little demon of yours? What she told you, I said, is what I told her. Yes. I beg your pardon, Mama. My daughter is not a demon. Then prove it. 
one two three four five six six whole years and nothing to show for it and when i came brought you the solution i've now become your enemy what solution mama you brought into my family problems and separation but i promise you the plans will not work Ah, I can say it's a sheer waste of time talking to you. You're not the one talking. There is a spirit in you talking. But I can assure you that that spirit that has possessed you will not last. Mama, if there is anyone possessing this house, it is you. Because I don't see the raising your own granddaughter. She'll be afraid of you. Why will your own granddaughter be your wedding? Why? Because I know what she knows. Yes. What is it you know that she knows? <laughs> Mama, see, let me tell you something here. Let this be the last time. The last time you will ever threaten my own child in a father's house. Else! Else what? The least you can do is to ask me to leave your house. But be wise. Open your eyes. Mama, Mama, what has, what, what has, what has come over you? Who has brainwashed you? You used to be a very kind and loving mother whose children's happiness matters to her a lot. But now, I, I, I really don't understand. I, I don't understand you anymore. Ah, oh, my son, I pity you. You know why? The moment she finishes with your wife, you are the next. You are. Shine your eyes. Be wise. And come to think of it, I think I've overstayed my welcome. I'm still doing here. It will not be heard that comfort the baby very well so <laughs> was thrown out of son's house now Mama, it will not what are you saying the one time it does not go to that time only time will tell watch it it doesn't go to that mama mama what could be the problem between mama and sophia who has been feeding Mama with all these lies? Ah! Mama has changed. Darling. 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 Yo. So that. Please, I, I want to be alone. I know, but just hear me out. I don't like the manner at which Mama left this house. I want us to go to the village, sort things out and apologize to her. I don't want the village people to start labeling us as bad and ungrateful children. Remember how good she was to me while I was pregnant of little Sophia? Sweetheart, yes. I remember how good she was to you. But 
The problem is, I don't understand that this thing changes in character. Honey, it's probably due to old age. But what could be the bone of contention between Mama and little Sophia? Tell me, she, that is what I don't understand. I can't I, I can just explain. But we really need to beg her. I don't want a situation whereby the travel and the village people start losing around and seeing us as ungrateful children. Honey, please, let us beg Mama. Let's apologize to her. I beg you, uh, I'll do something about it. <laughs> All right, my love. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. You're the best too. You always have the way through my heart. <laughs> I know. No, 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 no. My daughter cannot be a witch. No, not my blood. My daughter cannot be a witch. No, 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 no. That's impossible. Sophia, what are you doing with the knife? Hey, Sophia. Sophia! Dream 
Can we come? We need to rest, family. The enemy has lost the battle. Amen. We need to rest, okay? Mm. And you, Sophia, what brought you out of the room? I heard Daddy calling my name. Because I've had a nightmare. How did this little get new? I had a nightmare. Don't you relax. Everything will be fine. This girl is mine. And why will my own daughter want to kill me? Could it be that Mama is right? No, 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 no. No, I, I can't believe what Mama said about my daughter. Oh, could it be someone is manipulating this using a face? Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, but I'm very tired. Sorry. Things in the market are so expensive. You know the way teens are in this country. <laughs> Where is she? Who? Our daughter, Sophia, of course. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Don't tell me that our daughter, Sophia, is still in school by this time of the day. I thought I called you on phone to help me pick her from school. school. I, I'm sorry. Wait, I forgot. wait. Is this due to mother's speculation? No, I could have said it like that. Our only eye is no longer important to you. It's fine. I'll go pick my daughter myself. Okay. Be careful. Ah. Daddy, you will not have any other child apart from me. Cinderella, blue, black and white. A girl went to mm -hmm. kiss her friend. She kissed a snake. I'm not playing again. I know you will win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to win, Mommy. I'm not winning you. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, I'm tired. It's of you. <laughs> you need to do it. <laughs> don't play again. Mommy is tired. You must play. I must not play. Must I? Win you. I'm not winning. Honey, you're awake. Sophia. Yes, Dad. Go to the middle room. I will not try to work more. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Your face doesn't seem bright at all. What is the problem? Sure, that. Can I ask you a question? Okay, dear. Ask. You seem to be happy we are having Sophia as our only child. I am not happy. What do you suggest we do? Kill her because she is our only child? Honey, I am not happy about it. But we will continue to wait on God 
until he gives us another child. Or what do you suggest we do? There is no other child coming. Because if anyone would have come, six more years is enough for another child to have come. None is coming. What do you suggest we do? Go for adoption? God forbid. Me, living with a child that is not from my semen. No, no, no. That is not an option at all. It is not an option. I cannot live with a child that is not from my semen. And I ask again, what do you suggest we do? Jesus, 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 Jesus. What is going on with you these days? Where's Sophia? Where's Sophia? She went for lessons. <sighs> Sweetheart, I am so scared. About what? The doctor certified both of us healthy. So where could all this problem be coming from? Look, don't even look towards my daughter's direction because I won't take it lightly with you and your cohorts. Sweetheart, listen, see, I've been having a series of nightmares. I was even having one before you came to my rescue. I, I didn't want to tell you because I don't want you to feel bad or, or maybe worried or hurt. What sort of nightmare is this? Oh, I remember. Just like the other time. That was not the only one. I've been having series of dreams. And they have been using Sophia's image as a tool. Okay, the other one, I, 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 I had a dream where she was trying to stab me. And another one where she tried poisoning my food. Oh, yes. You woke up screaming. Look, honey, I think we need to see a pastor. The devil cannot make us hate our only child. Never. Think about it. Sophia. Yes, 
Where is the remote? I know where it is. But first, you must promise me you are going to call Nicolodeon for me. Sophia, darling. Mommy can't promise you anything. Because right now, I want to watch TV, so... Then consider yourself not watching it. Just because I want to watch Spongebox. Would you give me that remote? No, I won't. Come on, get it. Bigity. Perfect, come inside. Ah! Hold it. Hold it. Mmm! Mmm! Taraji over Imana. Mmm! You ah, Oli 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 Ja Oli Ja 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 Oli Ja Oli Ja 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 Oli Ja Oli Ja Elo Elo Oli Elo Ja Elo No No I can't stay here. I can't. Mr. Peter, evil. Evil has taken over this. Mm, 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 over this environment. Shakara uh, baba baba, too nice. Mm, mm, mm. come back when I do I will destroy every evil that is in this compound mm. 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 Oli Oli Taji over Okbo Ah Shakara Baba Batunas mm. I am coming back tomorrow fully prepared Oli, Oli ja, Oli ja, mm, mm, mm. Ah, Oli, 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 mm, Okbo, Okbo, mm. Jiova, Okbo, Mr. Peter. Ah, you need to be very careful. Ah, mm, mm. Da Jiova, Da Jiova. Ja elo elo, olo elo. Mm. Oli ja ja ja, oli ja. Mm. Oli ja ja ja. Maybe he's just one of daddy's friends. That scary looking man cannot be a friend to my dad. Come here, honey. Honey, what's the meaning of that stupid short drama that Prophet just performed? Are you happy with what is happening in this house? I said, answer me, are you happy? Are you happy with what is happening in this house?
Why is he not taking his calls? Hello? Uh, uh, good day. Uh, please, this is Mr. Peters. I would love to speak with Prophet Isaiah. What? What did you just say? Jesus Christ. This is unbelievable. What's the problem? The prophet is dead. Which prophet? The one that came yesterday. And promised to come back to the fully prepared. How could this be? Was he sick? I don't know. But the wife said he died in his sleep. <sighs> Students, what other proof, what other sign do you need? Hello? Uh, Mama? Mama, uh, Mama, please, can you come to the city? My house, of course. Mama, 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 calm down. See, I will send you some money to come to the city tomorrow morning, please. Hello? 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 She got to call me. Why are you calling Mama? Tell me, what are you calling Mama for? Never mind. Mama won't come again. She has also neglected us. Why do you like resurrecting buried issues? There is nothing like buried issues here. What is your problem? Somebody that was supposed to come rescue us from this situation died in his sleep early this morning. Doesn't that make any sense to you? And you're talking about bringing about buried issues. Wait. Are you accusing my daughter of being responsible for the prophet's death? It is no longer our daughter. It is now your daughter, right? Yes, my daughter. It is glaring to me now. But I want to promise you, time shall tell. Time shall tell. The death that will kill a man blocks his ears, his nose, his mouth from everything that can save his life. Oh, Mama, please, what do we do now? We will go to Oshobo. Oshobo what? Oshobo. We'll go see Itameta. Yes. Native doctor? No. English doctor. Does the name sound English to you? Nishat, no more wasting of time. Go dress, I'll change, and we'll be on our way immediately. Okay, my mom. Good 
Britinsa Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi Ya Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi Ya Thank your lucky star that you are here on time. For his teaching time saves nine. You should be thankful to the woman sitting right beside you. If not, the crocodile has already opened mouth to swallow you. La ilaha ya Rabbi Allah. La ilaha ya Rabbi Allah. Sophia. Uh, Sophia. She's my daughter. She's my daughter. I never ask you to talk. You only speak when you ask to. Yet she's your daughter. But she is far older than you. Your daughter has two spirits living in her. One from the deepest part of the ocean. And another from the coven of witchcraft. That is where your wife's womb was kept forever. And no man born of a woman can get it back. After they must have done with her, you are the next in line. They will render you useless. Your fee is 300,000 naira. No going back. Now let me introduce myself to you. I am Orita Meta. When you try to chase me, I turn into three junction. Whichever one you followed leads to your destruction. Go and get ready so that your case can be solved once and for all. If not, you will die Seeing my face after seven days. Great one. Sorry to speak without being asked. We have the money here. Thank your lucky star. If not, you would have inherited double trouble. Kala. Baba. Sophia. Yes, ma'am. Come and sit with me. Do you know mommy loves you very much? Yes, but dad does not love me. He hates me. Don't say that, honey. Daddy loves you very much. And if you love mommy, you will tell me the truth. Daddy's not here. It's just the both of us. Sophia, do you know who a witch is? Yes. How and where did you see them? I've seen witches in cartoons. Like in Sophia the First, Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, and many more. Sophia, I don't mean in movies. I mean, have you seen witches in reality? No, Mom. They must be very wicked and scary, like in the movies. Yes, they are my darling. Have you in any time in your dream seen yourself in the midst of weird people asking you to kill someone? No, mom. Okay. Have you ever slept 
and seeing yourself eating, swimming, or flying in the dream. No, mom. But why do you ask? <laughs> it's fine, my darling. Come here. Mommy cares about you, okay? Dad, dad, dad. Hey, hold it there. If you come close to me, I will strangle you with my bare hands. Honey. What? That's too harsh. She should count herself lucky I'm not with a machete. I would have cut you into pieces. Your own daughter. She's not my daughter. I can't give back to what would destroy me. Nonsense. Even if she's a witch, is accusing her the best approach? How do you expect me to approach this issue? By buying her sweet, chocolate, toys for being a thorn on my flesh? That's not what I'm saying. You should be looking for ways in which your daughter can be free, if truly she's guilty of the speculations. Oh, I am not speculating because you're not the victim here. For your information, your daughter is not a witch. She is a witch. I have called her seven as a loving mother to ask her questions about witchcraft. Your daughter doesn't have the slightest idea of what witchcraft is all about. Huh. Huh. Bumi, I got married to you because I thought you were wise. Now, I have known how stupid, foolish and idiotic you are. You're the most foolish, idiotic woman on this planet Earth. What is that supposed to mean? Were you expecting a thief? to come tell you he is a thief. All I know is, my daughter is not a witch! Now I can understand how she got possessed. Peter, are you accusing me of bewitching our daughter? No. Let's say, you're a suspect. I beg your pardon. Mind your word. And if I don't? If I don't, what will you do? Raise your hands and slap me. Let me tell you something. If your daughter is not a witch, will me tell me why haven't you conceived after six years of her arrival? Why haven't you conceived? Bumi. Bumi. I will speak to you even more. Sophia, what's the problem? Mommy, I want to ask you a question. Okay, my angel. Go on with your question. Promise me you'll be truthful. I will, my darling. Mommy, am I a witch? Mm. 
Please. No, honey. You are not a witch. My baby is not a witch, but a child of God. Now repeat after me. I am not a witch. I am not a witch. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Christ in me. Christ in me. The hope of my future. The hope of my future. You little witch. I know you're feeling the heat at the realm of the spirit and pretending you're not. Very soon it will manifest, and when it does, I'll be the first to give you pepe. Grandma, what have I done to deserve such for me? What are you trying to do to transfer progression to me? What? Ha! Go and unlock your mother's womb. Go back to the ocean and get the key. You need a brother and a sister. Open your mother's womb. Small witch. Mama, why are you traumatizing my daughter, your granddaughter? I think the question should be why your daughter decided to lock up your womb and deny you the pleasure of having another child. With due respect, give Sophia a break. How dare you accuse my child of witchcraft? Ah, a while back. When I confronted her, your husband reacted exactly the same way you are presently. <laughs> but not anymore. Because after the series of attacks on him, it now dawned on him that he was living with an enemy that wants to destroy him. My husband just had nightmares and nothing more. Mama, can't you see? They are using my daughter's image. To tear my family apart. <laughs> Why don't they use your own image or your husband's or even an old scary woman like me? But they chose to use a child's image. Does that not tell you something? Think. Even if she's a witch, it's traumatizing my daughter, your grandchild really the best option. Yes. Yes. With the little heat on her, she has no option but to confess and die. Mama, yeah. so it has gotten to the extent of you wishing your grandchild death. Yes. Mama. Oh, don't you want to be free? <laughs> hmm. Anything that does not give you peace, should not have the liberty to live. <sighs> Bumi, my daughter, think.
know Mr. Man. Sophia. Yes, dear. I have something for you. No need. The services are no longer needed in our company. Sophia. Have a nice day, Mr. Man. Sophia! Sophia! Oh, oh, oh. Sack letter. Hello, Sophia! What's this? It's a dream. My services are no longer needed. This company. For my own daughter, Sophia. Telling me I'm no longer needed in this company. What kind of, what, what kind of problem is this? Who, who have I offended? Who is after my, 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 my source of livelihood? Who? Sophia. Who is doing this with my daughter's face? Oh, 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 what is happening? What is happening? Who have I offended? Sophia. Sophia. Is that girl truly a witch or what? Is she possessed? I think I have to get to the root of this issue now. Sophia. Sophia. Oh, Sophia, what have I done to you? Nothing so why have you decided to make my life miserable? Why have you decided to make my life a living hell? Sophia, why have you decided to take our only source of livelihood, my job? Tell me, you, your mom, and I depend greatly on this job to feed and for me to clothe your wife. Answer me, you demon! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, please. But you just have to tell daddy why. Tell me why. Come on, don't give me that look. And don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, I'll let you know. Today, in my office, you came in my dream to serve me a sack letter. And that means only one thing. In the reward, I am going to be relieved of my job. Sophia, why all this? Why are you trying to take the only thing that helps me put food on our table? That helps me pay your school fees? But don't you want to go to school anymore? You want to go? Don't you want to have siblings that you can call your younger ones? You can play with. Don't you? Then unlock your mother's womb. 
so she can give birth for you to have younger ones you can play with. Am I understood? Am I understood? Mommy, let us go to the hospital. We will. Once your daddy gets back, who knows when? Sweetheart. Sweetheart, what is the problem? Sophia, what happened to your mom? I do not know. Sweetie, what's the problem? Since morning, I've been feeling hot and feverish. Sorry, I think you're sick. I need to take you to the hospital. But first, uh, I need to get you something to eat. Should you place some medication, your body can be able to withstand it. Okay? You smell. I what? Since morning, she has been complaining that everything smells. In fact, you need to have a bath too. You stink. Could it be that she is pregnant? No. I don't think so. I must find out. It's okay. Daddy, daddy, daddy. My little angel, come on. How are you? What are you doing? Please. Now, yeah. What about your mom? She's inside. She's inside. Okay, you just continue playing. <laughs> Let me go see her, okay? Continue okay, playing. Bye -bye. excitement all about did you win a lottery or something lottery. Please. <laughs> wow please please you have so much sweat all over your body go to the bathroom and shower anyway you're welcome now you're talking well before i go in to freshen up i have a good news for you. I'm all ears. Actually, I just want to know that you, my beautiful, beautiful angel, Shami Queen is pregnant. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Not fever like I was thinking. Not fever. <gasps> I was passing by the hospital. I decided to dash in to get the results. And it says you were three weeks gone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Where are my mockers? Where are those that said I would not have a child? God has done it for me, honey. God has answered our prayers, honey. He has. Orita Meta has done a great job. He has fought a great battle. Wow. Who? Uh, uh, no, man. It's a long story. Wow. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happy too. Mm. I love you. I'm, I'm, I'm famished. Don't worry. I prepared a very sumptuous meal. Uh -huh. So all I needed to do is to go in there, shower, and the food will be ready. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, what? I want to eat this one. Eat what? Don't worry, I want to eat the baby's egg, okay? No. No, don't do anything. <laughs> Come on. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. What? Let me check. It's baby's cake. What? They're not secret. What are you doing? Ah! Hey! What? You've been kicking me. <laughs> I'm okay. What I want it? to eat this one first. Eat what? 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 Mm -hmm. I know. Enjoy the best. Oma, I never believed it will happen so fast. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I told you that no one, no one dares the power of Itameta. In addition to the little heat we gave to that little witch. Oh my, that man is so powerful. After six years, mm. ha, mm. she's finally pregnant. Ah, when next I talk, you listen. Oma, you know what? Eh? I want her to follow you to the village so she can have a safe delivery just like during Sophia's birth. It's okay with me. You see, if you had always listened to me, you would never have encountered any problem at all. Mama, henceforth, mm -hmm. I will be listening to every little thing that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> That's my son, no problem. Okay. Grandma, Grandma, Daddy, Daddy. What is it? It's mom. Where is she? What is wrong? What is it? It's mom. Where is she? What is wrong? Chudat, just look at Chudat. What is it? Mama, huh? I was about washing. Then I felt a sharp pain in my tongue. Oh. Okay? Hey! Hey! Oh, Mama. My name is Oh, Don't eat again. Stay clear. Stay clear. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Hey! 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 The hope we were building. Why? Hi. I feel like myself. Why? When I already made plans on how to nurse my second child, I think I know what happened. What? Why is it that is always that Sophia? 
that is always around at every mishap. And she will be the one to deliver the bad news. What? Mama, I am as confused as anything now. We were all inside. And she was busy dealing with her mother there. Eh? Didn't you hear what Bumi said? That she felt a sharp pain on her abdomen. She waited to make sure nobody was around to carry out her evil atrocities. Why is this little witch like us? Why can she give up? Oh God, why? Oh, I don't I sensed she has renewed her powers. And Itameta might not be a better match for her now. Honestly, I don't know. What do you suggest we do? How do we contain this evil? Hi. Mama, I think I have a plan. But it might not go down well with you. You see, anything that will help contain this evil, you have my support. You have my support, my son. We can't continue this way. Just get to go, please. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For we know you're going to answer his prayer. Amen. You're going to answer it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we're here before you this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are trusting you, Lord. You know the hand is our brother Peter. Amen. Lord, we pray you answer him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, if there's anything he has done wrong, Father, forgive him. Amen. You are a forgiving Lord. Oh, Lord. But we know at this point in time, oh Lord, we declare him and his wife fatal in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lose your hold right now. What is this person? Lord, you know that you can do it. Father, we take my face. Which is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We know you're going to answer his prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you say we should call things that be not as though they were. We call fertility into existence in the name of Jesus. Amen. We know that the problem is solved. Oh, yes, Lord. We say thank you because we know it's solved in the thank name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. It is solved in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say it is solved in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Brother Peter, the Bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct. Without proper direction, we will pray without results. Uh, Pastor, I don't understand. You see, Brother Peter, it is not everything we go to God in prayer. That is why God has given us a brain to use as humans. Um, Pastor, you know, I have been to your church and I saw where many give testimonies of miracle babies. But why can't my case be like that? Oh. Is the witchcraft of my daughter become so strong that none could profound solution to our case? Brother Peter, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that prayer and faith does not work. But you see, sometimes as humans, we get so spiritual and so righteous that we don't even realize that the problem is in front of us. And because of lack of proper reading of the word and studying, we do not realize that God has given us a brain as humans to use. And so every time there's a problem, we attribute it to the spiritual when it is actually physical. Let me ask you, have you done a fertility test? Yes, we have done it. That was the reason I termed it spiritual. The doctor certified my wife and I very fat and productive. And that is why I'm so worried about this scenario because I don't understand. Here's what I suggest. I would like you to visit my doctor. Maybe he would have a second opinion as to your case. You know, right now I am not moved to pray like I'm used to. Uh, Pastor, it, it, it's not that uh, I don't want to listen to you, but Pastor, please, just just pray some more. Pray. I, I know I know God will open your eyes to see something about his family. I just just for things are not going right. Some, there's a problem that needs to be addressed. 
Very well. Um, but remember, your wife just had a miscarriage, so it is important you visit the hospital. Just in case anything may have arisen, you know, like a blocked fallopian tube or any other birth-related issue, just so that it can be looked into. Uh, okay, Pastor. Uh, I've heard, but, but still, uh, please do not forget the spiritual battle. <laughs> You're adamant that it's spiritual. Okay, Brother Peter, I will not forget. I will do that. Thank you, Pastor. I would really appreciate it, Pastor. My pleasure, Brother Peter. So, Mother, how are you feeling now? I feel better, Doctor. That's good. That's good. Um, you said uh, the past six years after your first issue, you've not been able to conceive again, and uh, even the one that came was miscarried. Is that right? Yes, Doctor. Mm. Well. First of all, I have to subject both of you to a blood test. Hmm? Uh, we will drop your blood samples with our lab technician. Hmm? Then from the results, when you come in tomorrow, you see the results and then we start off from there. Is that okay by you? All right, doctor. Is it okay by you, sir? Yes, doctor. Good. Good. Now, if you go by the walkway, on your left, right? The lab is just directly in front of you. But if you miss your way, I'm sure one of the nurses will show you the way. Hmm? Thank when you. I get the results there, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. But all is well. You. Just have that belief. Hmm? Thank hmm? you, Doctor. It's well. Thank you, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go through the left. All right, go. Um, what is the name of your beautiful daughter again? <laughs> Sophia, doctor. Sophia. Yes, Doctor. Oh, oh, such a beautiful name. Hmm. Please, when you get home, both of you should apologize to Sophia. Yes, she's not a witch. My pastor told me a lot about her and what's going on. But I can confirm to you that Sophia is not a witch. Um. If I may ask, why doctor? Because on several occasions, she has attacked me in my dreams. In your dream, you say, ah, Mr. Peter, you see, there are certain things that people feed our heads with, and then they tend to register in our head. Then when we sleep, they rejuvenate. They come out again and we say, ah, I had this dream that this is what happened in my dream. Let me ask you, who brought out the idea that your beautiful daughter, Sophia, is a witch? Um, my, my mother. Then she's the genesis of your problem. Sorry. <clears throat> I, I, I'm not trying to castigate her. She might mean well, but she went about it the wrong way. Uh, doctor, if I may ask, how do you mean? Okay. During your pre uh, natal, that is before you gave birth to Sophia, did anybody run any test on both of you? No, not at all, doctor. She actually delivered through traditional means. No English medicine? No, no doctor. doctor no. no doctor. Just herbs. In this 21st century, both of you are educated. You took a lot of risk. 
Okay, wait. Before you got married, did you run any tests to know if your blood group or your genotype matches each other as couples? Um, doctor, actually, um, no. Reason being that we deem it not necessary because we were very much in love with each other. We never wanted any health related issues to disrupt our marital plans. That was why. That's the genesis of your problem. That's the truth. Why didn't you counter your mother's suggestion that she should deliver in a herbal home? I have nothing against herbal homes. But medically, you took a lot of risk. Why didn't you? Hey, doctor, it is kind of a long story. But sometimes you might not understand how the opinion of the mother and father counts in the life of the children. Uh, doctor, actually it all started. Mama, welcome. How was your journey? Are you sure you are alright? I'm very much alright, right, Mama. How was your journey? We thank God for journey mercies, for life and for everything. And where is my son? He's yet to return from work. Okay. You know what? I brought you your favorite fish. <laughs> thank you so much, Mama. Mama, let me take you to your room now. Yeah, I'll tell you. Mama, why are you still standing there? Let's go now. Mama. Mama. Bumi. Bumi. Bumi, Bumi, Bumi. I've been calling. Is everything all right? I'm so sorry, Mama. Since morning, I have been feeling very weak and tired. When I came in earlier, you were looking sickly and I asked, is everything all right? You said you are. I even thought you woke up from sleep then. I have been having the symptoms of malaria. Oh? Let me have a look. Have you taken any medication? No, no, no. Okay. You know what you have to do? Just go in. Lie down and rest. I'll take over from where you stopped. Move. What, Mama? No buts. Move. Hmm? Mama. I'll finish up. Go lie down. Mama. Go lie down. 
Why mm. are you still treating me like I'm a baby? I'm fine. Huh? From what I have observed, you're not fine. You need some rest. I said I'll just take over from here. Just move. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take over, eh? Okay, Mama. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Mama, I have missed your meal a lot. That's good. You feel the taste of another woman's food. <laughs> this is unlike my wife. She barely eats without me. But I'm so surprised. I mean, she was eating and even retired to bed before my arrival. Oh, oh, I see. I think I understand. She could not withstand the comfort. Yo. Your meal gives. He's eating food. You're saying that again, son. I know you just got married. But you should be able to notice the changes in your wife's body. Each time you come back from work and she is sleeping, touch her body, observe her. Mama. Mm -hmm. Is there anything happening to my wife you're not telling me? Not at all, not at all. Everything is okay. I don't think so. <laughs> if all is well, mm -hmm. why is she sleeping by this time of the day without even waiting for me to come back to eat with me? No, 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 no. Change, 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 change. You know, change is the only constant thing in life. <laughs> Ma, mm -hmm. you're getting me more confused. <laughs> ah, I told you there's nothing to worry about. Anyway, congratulations. Congratulations about what? All right. The truth is that your wife is pregnant. What? Yes. Ma, mm -hmm. are you sure? Yes. Pregnant! Shh! Shut. She's not even aware of it yet. Ma, yeah. this cause will celebrate you. You can say that again. Yes! 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 Okay! Don't do that to show up. I'm gonna be your father. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man. Wow. Mama, you act what I see when my wife goes out. You see, I want your wife to come back with me to the village so that she will be well taken care of and have her child in the traditional way. Remember, I've always told you, I had you and all your siblings through the traditional way. And it's easy. Once she obeys and takes the prescribed helps, boom, before you know it, the baby is out without stress at all. Mama, this is 21st century. Times have changed. People no longer use this traditional or herbs to give birth. You go to the hospital. <sighs> I told you. She's still better off with me. Let her go to the village with me and I'll take good care of her. <laughs> Mama, what are you trying to say now? What I'm saying is this, that Bumi, your wife, should stay in the village with me all through her pregnancy period. 
should be taken care of the traditional way. Like I said earlier, so long as she agrees and takes the herbs the way it is, before you know it, the baby is out, stress free. Mama, that is impossible. If you want to make a request, at least ask for something you know that can be granted. Not something that is, my, in short, my wife cannot follow you to the village for traditional. No, 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 mama. That's impossible. Listen to me, son. It's for your own good. For your own good. So, mama, I can understand you're lonely and very bored in the village. I needed somebody to come stay with you. Fine. See, I will kind of, I will make an arrangement for somebody to come to the village and stay with you. But for my wife, to go to traditional means of giving birth. Mama, that is impossible. It's a very big like to walk. Mm. Let's not even talk about this, please, Mama. Mm. So have you made up your mind? Mama, please, please, could you give me a little space to think? You've had enough time to think. And if you think that the time I've given you is not enough, you have no option. I'll do it my own way. We have no time at all. Mama, how do you mean you do it your way? I'll forcefully implement it to save her life and the life of the baby. Mama, you do no such thing. Please, try me. Okay, you win. You say, son, I mean well for you. You're my son. I mean well for you and your family. It's for your own good. But there is a little problem. What is it? How do I convince her? And if I may ask, did you notice Anything that might affect my unborn child. Prevention is better than care. And your assignment is to convince her. So do it and leave the rest for me. Is that clear? Then cure. Sweetheart. What is the problem? Why are you touching me? Because you're my wife. Or don't I have the right to touch you anymore? Are you sure what you're saying? That I, Bumi, am actually your wife. <laughs> I, Bumi. Your wife. What sort of question is that? Have you lost your mind? I should be asking you that. It's meant for you, not me. See, I overheard you and having an argument that has to do with you. And when I asked you, you said nothing. When have we started keeping secrets from each other? Tell me. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, okay? Yes. That is what you know how to do best. Apologize. Now you have suddenly remembered that I am your wife. Anyway, 
he would not cross between these two legs of mine. Sweetheart, see, why I didn't tell you is because I know you won't agree to the bullshit Mama was saying. Peter, have you lost your manners? How dare you call what came out of your mother's mouth bullshit? The Mama I know would never mean harm for the both of us. See, you're my wife. And I know you too well. I know the kind of advice you welcome and the one you discard. And this one, trust me, it is a discardable one. Peter, at least you should have told me first and let me decide since it has to do with me. You're right, okay? Mama actually wanted you to come over to the village and stay with her all through your pregnancy period till you put to bed. Now you see why I never wanted to tell you. You see? Because I know you won't agree to it. I know the kind of advices you welcome and the one you discard. So. Now that you've known, can I have my way now? Come on. Can we? Leave me alone. Come now. We'll be calm, should we? It's the hell you don't touch me. Sweetie, come on now. Come. Leave me alone. Come now. I'm not giving you anything. Just a cup. Leave me alone. Small cup. Ah, sweetie. Like you don't want it. I don't want it. You sure? I don't. I put it in. My daughter, I mean well for you. You see? I don't want you to go through this cut and tear eh? in the name of operation or whatever in hospitals. That's just it. Eh? Please. Mama, hmm? God forbid. That will not be our portion. <sighs> Heaven helps those who help themselves. Let me tell you a story. When I was pregnant with you, yeah, husband, Peter. I had a friend that was due to deliver. I begged her to go down the village with me for the traditional way. But she said no. She opted for the hospital. When she got there, from one story to the other, either the baby is too big, in the process of bringing out the baby, they have to collapse Either one hand came out or, ah, it was quite a painful one. To the extent that they cut the womb, through the womb, the head of the baby, ah. At the end of the day, to call the long story short, she did not make it, neither did the baby. Ever since, I swore that none of my girls or my son's wife would give birth in the hospital. I would rather the traditional way. So I swore that none of them. It's always the traditional way. It's always better and safest for me. I'm not against the hospital at all. When you have malaria, typhoid, and all these sicknesses, uh -huh, they are good for that one. But when it comes to pregnancy and delivery, mm -mm, traditional way for me. Okay. Mama, that's so sad. But. No buts. Hmm? Do you know that presently, eh, from that village, that you're married in. All our girls that are in the city, once they know that they are taking in, they are pregnant, they are expecting. All the way to the village until after their delivery. It's the safest, my dear. Mama, mm -hmm. there's this our neighbor. Mm -hmm. She gave birth the traditional way. Mm -hmm. She had a safe delivery. But the problem is, her babies came out looking so small. Ah. <laughs> Is it not safer to have a small baby and be safe? You are alive and your baby is alive. Yes. There is this concussion, traditional herb that they mix and they will give to you to shrink the baby. And once you're due, in no time, the baby is out. And you know, with the... 
a planned meal and diet these days. Under two months, depending on the size of the baby, the baby will just blow up. Like a balloon, depending on the size you want. So, I should know it's a new go area. Life first. Okay, Mama. I'll take that into consideration. But the problem is. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll take care of that. Hmm? The baby will not be that small. And when the baby is that small, we have diet. Hmm? Is it a deal? Okay, Mama. It's a deal. Don't worry. You will not regret that, eh? Not at all. <laughs> Mama. I'm afraid your mother did you a lot of wrong. That's the truth. You see, it's always advisable for couples to check their blood group, channel type, to know if they are compatible. I suspected Rexus factor. And the result of the test has not proved otherwise. Your case is medical. Uh, um, please, doctor. And uh, what is? Rexus factor. Yes, doctor. Oh, Rexus factor is when the the woman is ROH negative and the man is positive, which means the two blood, they don't match, okay? Now, the woman that has developed an antibody that fights back, anything that enters into her body, you know, it is as, as enemy, including your husband's semen, which means when he comes into you, he drops it, you understand me? That antibody fights back. Uh, yes. uh, but doctor, we had our daughter successfully. You were lucky. No, no, no. It's a rare case. Very lucky. But you cannot have it. The second time. That's why miscarriage comes into it. And doctor, you, you said uh, we can no longer have child, uh, my wife can no longer give birth. Well, as long as you keep opting for traditional means of delivering babies without going through antenatal, I'm afraid. So now that we, we, have, we have agreed uh, to follow the Medicare uh, way of childbirth, which you said is the best. Mm. What is the chances of? Oh, oh yes, a very big chance. Now, you have a very big chance. You see, there is this injection, right? That has been given after childbirth. It's called Rogan for 72 hours after childbirth. Um, doctor, please, I beg your pardon. How does this um, Rogan work? Rogan is an injection made up of antibodies called immunoglobulin. It helps to test the fetus, you know, and repels the antibody that has been fighting or keeps fighting her having another child. Hey, doctor, but now that she didn't take it 72 hours after childbirth, so <laughs> what can we do? Now that she has not taken it, right? it can still be administered to her. She will take a shot of it during 28 weeks of pregnancy and 72 hours after childbirth. Okay, um, doctor, thank you so much for everything. What we'll do now is uh, the moment she gets pregnant, we're going to register her to your hospital so we can actually monitor her system so at least she can, we can both have another child. You don't have any problem. Hmm? You're always welcome. That's, that's our job. We do that. You're always welcome. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Doctor. We love you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. You're welcome.
needed to flex my muscles. Huh. It is good to flex some muscles once a day. And it's beautiful, you know. Hello, ladies. We are running late for the picnic. Please come out. Uh, women and the public. Wow. 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 You are looking so beautiful. Mama, mm -hmm. you're looking under 16. Well, oh, the problem is you people took a lot of time. You just say you're looking beautiful, <laughs> looking good, six times, son. <laughs> jealousy, jealousy. <laughs> a big one at that, tell me. Mom? Yes, my darling. You haven't told me the meaning of self aggression. Sophia, I knew you would ask me this question. So, Transfer of aggression is when someone makes another person angry, then that person passes on that anger to someone else. But that is the meaning of transfer of aggression. Okay, mom. Grandma, daddy, both of you should not do transfer of aggression anymore. <laughs> no. again. My darling, sweet darling, let's get going. Can we, so can we go? Can we go now? 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 Can we go Mommy, when we get to fantasy land, I want us to act a drama. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sweetheart. So, Madam Director Sophia, what will the story be all about? Honey, it's all about a royal family that passed through storms and lived happily together. Beautiful. Wow. Hmm. So, Sophia, the director, do the casting. Who will play what? My baby will be my little brother. Wow. <laughs> and dad will be the king. Wow. Mom will be the queen. Mm -hmm. And I will be the princess, just like Princess Sophia the first. Wow. <laughs> Sophia, is grandma not among the cast? Sure, Grandma will play the wicked witch. Wow! Uh, what? <laughs> Sophia! I will do that I'll you up! Sophia! I'll you up! Okay, 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 okay. Can we go now? Yes, let's go now.